Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm gonna show you how to make my banana chocolate chip muffins. They're incredibly easy to make. Just take a few ingredients that you probably already have on hand and it's a great use to make of those like overripe bananas that you know you probably already have in your fridge. So now to make this recipe, you're gonna need three ripe bananas, some all-purpose flour, eggs, granulated sugar, chocolate chips, vegetable oil, ground cinnamon, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and vanilla extract. Now this is gonna be a really fast recipe and they are so incredibly delicious. Now first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees, get that ready. Second thing you wanna do is take a muffin pan, 12 muffins, line the, the uh, actual pan with little muffin liners so that this ensures that the muffins come out easy and perfect, they don't stick to anything. Now. I cannot put this recipe because of my uh, fear of throwing anything away. I don't like to waste things. So when you have, I love bananas, but how many of us go to the store and buy those like five pound bananas that are delicious, but after three or four days, they start to go brown. And once that happens, they're not exactly appealing to eat on their own, but they are incredible for cooking and baking. They are so sweet, they become super sweet, and they're really soft, which means that whatever you're putting them in, are gonna be re it's gonna be really moist. So whenever you're baking with bananas, you wanna make sure you use a nice, ripe banana. Otherwise, it's gonna be tough to mash them up, and they're not gonna be really sweet. So in a large bowl, I'm just putting my bananas in there, and now using a fork, because this is really soft now at this point. See that? This is exactly what we want. I'm just going to mash these up until you have like, um, like a mushy, mushy, wet consistency. This is exactly what we're looking for. Perfect consistency. You still want some chunks in there because I want to be able to bite down on it and know that it's, you know, pieces of bananas. Now before we do anything else with that, I'm going to set it aside because to this bowl, and this little bowl here, I'm going to put my chocolate chips. These are just regular milk chocolate chips, whatever I have on hand works, with about a quarter cup, or well about three tablespoons, of the flour mixture because once we coat all the chocolate chips with the flour, it prevents them from sinking to the bottom of the actual muffin. This way we ensure that we have chocolate chips running all the way through. So now that that's done, move this back here. Perfect, just like so. Now we're gonna add all of our wet ingredients to the mushed up bananas, which is about a half a cup of vegetable oil. And this is gonna look kind of funky, but I promise it comes together beautifully. Some vanilla extract, not too much, about a quarter teaspoon. And I'm also gonna get my eggs in here. Now remember, I always like to crack my eggs in a separate bowl, just in case you get a bad egg, you don't waste your entire batter. One goes in. Last egg, and now using a whisk, I'm just combining my wet ingredients. And this is so fast and easy. Now to this, we're gonna add our sugar. Just regular granulated sugar. Mix till it's all incorporated. Now I have my flour and my remaining dry ingredients in here. I like to use cinnamon in this because number one, cinnamon goes really good with bananas obviously. And number two, whenever I'm making anything with chocolate, chocolate chips or whatever, I like to always put something in there that really enhances that chocolate flavor and cinnamon is one of those things. I usually use cinnamon or if I'm making an all chocolate batter, I like to put a little bit of instant coffee. And you don't taste the coffee but that it really makes that chocolate decadent and delicious. Now last thing we're going to add is our chocolate chip and flour mixture. We're just gonna mix this in to get them incorporated. Not using a large ice cream scoop, I'm just gonna scoop these into my muffin liners. Last one. Here we go. These are gonna go into your preheated oven, 400 degrees for about 18 to 20 minutes. At the 18 minute mark, take a toothpick, insert it into the middle of the muffin. If it comes out clean with no wet batter on it, you know it's done. If at the 18 minute mark, there's, the, there's like still crumbs on that toothpick, it means it needs to cook a little bit more. So after that, you check it every two minutes to ensure we're not over baking them. I took my muffins out about 15 minutes ago. They baked for 18 minutes at 400 degrees and I smell heavenly. Now, 
You know, the most important part is taste. Oh, I almost dropped one, but didn't. I caught it. Got it. It looked really moist. Just gonna open one up. Look at that chocolate. Oh. Mm. It's like banana bread and chocolate chip muffins. Fell in love, had a baby. We have banana muffins with chocolate chips. It's so good. It's so sweet. Partly because of the sugar, but most of that sweetness comes from those ripe bananas. Remember, when they're starting to look brown and ugly, don't get rid of them. It's like a diamond in the rough. They are so incredible to bake with. So get in your kitchen, make these bad boys, and I guarantee you, you're going to love them. To get this recipe and other recipes, check out my website, www.laurenthekitchen.com. See you next time. Bye.